I tell you, I am just so happy. I choose happy every day, and I hope y'all do it too. Let's say prayers, and you are ready to see what we go eat. <laughs> My God, thank you for God, for being God all by yourself, being our Father, forgiving us of our sins, blessing our YouTube channels, putting the great people in our lives. Have your way. Let us know that you are God all by yourself. We have to do your work, your will, your way. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Okay, y'all, look, we have some crawfish. I was at the store, right? Our H-E-B. I don't know if y'all have an H-E-B. In the crawfish season, they are outside. They have all these big pots just cooking these crawfish, and I stopped. And I tasted one. I was like, okay, give me like four pounds. And so they did. It was five ninety seven a pound. So that's the cheapest that I've seen uh, right now in this season. But let's toast. Um, all my new subscribers that came in yesterday, the whole week, all my new subscribers, thank you so much. I need your eyes to look at the videos. So, you know, just let it stroll. Uh, yeah. Um, for, I've, I've lost subscribers and that's okay, but all my new subscribers, come on in. Uh, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water, your snacks, your food. Let's chit and sit and chat. So this is for you. Salud, salud. Sip, sip, sip this good hood stuff. Oh, I forgot my line. And you say I look y'all right in the eye when I sip because I told y'all what I, what I heard the other day. So, yeah. Let's dig in. I did not make uh, Dame Dad's sauce and I have some and I have B-Love spicy uh, sauce. I did not make it because I'm going to do a seafood ball next week and I'm going to pick which one. I think it's going to be Dame, uh, dipping Dame Dash butter sauce because it really is good. But, you know, I have uh, the chili sauce. Today, just to dip the crawfish in um, as well. I was going to bring out my Slap Your Mama, but it had a good mm. it has a good flavor. And that spice is just right. You know? Mm, that's good. I didn't want no corn. Mm, mm. Damn, it's good. All potatoes are none of that. I didn't want to get full fast. I just wanted to have some good crawfish. I hope uh, it's going to be good for my tummy because y'all know on my birthday I had some bad seafood. Yeah, that's good. But that chili sauce, that's really good. Mm, there's too much stuff coming out that head. <laughs> I'm going to leave that right there. <laughs> you know, my mind is kind of perverted sometimes. Y'all, I was on Coco Tell Them Live last night. That girl got my back. Thank you, Coco. You really got my back. Thank you for teaching me. Yeah. I receive it. I really do. I don't know why people don't subscribe. This can be your content. Mm. Damn, that's good up and out. You know, it's just, it can be a lot of reasons people don't subscribe to your page. However, I know my God is bigger than it, everything, everything. So I know when we let him do what he do, they, the pages blow up. So I give to God. Mm. I'm going to keep that claw right there. That's a big one. Uh, so, you know, yeah. I'm a, I'm, you know, I like what I'm doing. I like talking to y'all. I do. 
I really do, because I'm a speaker at best, you know, and I'm a counselor as well. So, yeah, I like what I do. And, of course, you can, if you love to talk and you love to eat, this is the best platform, for real. So, mm-hmm. So yeah, here I am, y'all, live and in color. This good girl too. Mhm. Mm but I'm getting so many uh, subscribers. I even have some in the UK. So yeah. Mhm. Mm I'm good about it. I'm happy too, y'all. You know, even in my bad day. Mm. On a bad day. I still, <coughs> oh, that's spicy, hit my back of my throat. I still choose happy, y'all, because everything, you know what I told him, man? I, I went to go get my car inspected today, right? And I met some great people. Well, the people at the shop, they from Lebanon somewhere. My God, I'm so attracted to the one who always do my car. Damn, he cute. Uh, I met a customer, and we was just talking about global warming and Everything, just life. <laughs> mm. Y'all just a little messy, I'm sorry. But I met some good people and we had great conversations today. Really great conversations today. You know, you everybody have a, a different perspective than you. You know, everybody got different background, different cultures, you know, you just got to be happy, choose happy, you know, meet people. You can learn so many things outside of your house, y'all. I'm telling you. I love my life because when I remember... My young life, it was not peaches and cream. It was not happy all the time because I was homeless. When I look back over my life, oh, Lord, have mercy. When I look back over my life and I see where I came from, joy unspeakable, baby. I remember walking the street as a homeless girl. And back in the day, mm, oh, that's good. People sat, sat on their front porches a lot. And uh, some of them played dominoes and whatever they was doing on their own private porches is their business. But I always heard a lot of elders say, joy unspeakable joy. And I did not know what that meant. I was 13 years old, 14 years old, walking in the streets, y'all homeless. I didn't know what that meant. But as I learned God and I started to trust God and I saw all the stuff he was doing in my life and when I repented for all the things I did in my youth, in my grown life, you know, I saw the glory come in and I used to wake up and I'm not, not used to, I still do that. that not for to tell you where I'm going with this. I still wake up and I just look up and say, this is the day that, that you have made. May I rejoice. And it's something about my smile. I still smile as I said early in the morning, you know, and that's when I, I thought about it, you know, maybe seven years ago when I thought about what what did what they saying on the porch joy unspeakable well that's what joy unspeakable is you don't have have to have a reason oh my god mm. cuz when you know god is god and when you see his mighty work and hand in your life when you realize that you could have been dead and gone sleeping in your grave 
for every man that put the gun on my head, for every man that put that knife on my neck, I could have been gone, sleeping in my grave. But God told my grave to stand back because he wasn't done with me. And now I'm happy. That's that joy unspeakable. When you look back over your life, my God, I'm preaching. When you look back over your life and see how far you came, how can you have a frown? It don't go together. So that's where I am today, y'all. Alive, healthy, happy. You know, I'm I'm now 57 years old. Hallelujah. Uh I don't take no pills or nothing. I'm healthy. I am really healthy. Why would I complain about anything? Why would I frown? Even though I don't have everything that I want, I always say, God, thank you for not giving it to me because sometimes I was stuck and selfish. Uh -huh. Speak the truth, hood. Speak the truth. Y'all listening to me? Look at my eyes. This is my life, y'all. I've been through some stuff, but I'm still here. Hallelujah. Yes. So I don't care who don't like me. I don't care who's unsubscribed. Because when one unsubscribe, I have 10 more coming in. I know my, again, my personality is huge and everybody not going to like my personality. And it's a shame. Because I'm really good people. I'm, re I'm really good people. You know, if you met me 20 years ago, I wasn't. <laughs> you know, you would have had a reason not to like me back then. But today, I'm good. I'm in a wonderful place. You know, I told y'all five videos back, the hardest thing that I had to learn when God changed me, that everybody was not going to like me. I still struggle with it because, you know, I love, I love, because God taught me that love, y'all. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't me. Mm -mm. It's him. But I'm in a good spot. But you know what? Today I was out and I meet, you know, men just talk to me and I talk to them too because I flirt, especially when you look good. <laughs> I do. I, I flirt a lot and they flirt back. But you know what I'm hearing more and more and more? They look at the hand or they assume these are some little crawfish, y'all. This one got a, a big leg though. They assume, mm, mm. man, that's good, uh, that I'm married already. They assume that I'm already taken before asking me, you know? Uh, and, uh, you know, like one man said, well, you're so beautiful. Why are you single? But don't ask me why. Ask me for my freaking phone number. And then you can learn me and know why I'm single. How about that? <laughs> but I do, y'all. I meet a lot of people and they just assume that I'm already taken. And I'm far from it. I'm far from being taken. I have someone who want to take me. <laughs> I ain't going, no. <laughs> Uh-uh, I'm not going. I'm going to stay right here. Because I know that something better mm, and bigger is coming and I'm so ready. I'm going to tell y'all, every day I wake up ex expecting some things. I do. When I walk out of my door, I be expecting some stuff. I'm ready. I'm ready for everything God told me I was going to have. 
I'm ready for everything that Satan took for me to get it back. How about that? Yeah. I'm ready. I'm so ready. So, yeah. All my new hustlers that's coming in, come on in. Come on in here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Don't forget to hit that notification bell right on the side. Gray it out. Because every time I upload another hood video, you're going to be notified. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. I love reading and I am going to reply as long as I can. Because I know that you looked at the video. Everybody that I subscribe know that I look at your video. Sometimes I try to look at everybody's and I forget to comment. But my eyes are on you. For real. For real. Yeah. So keep your eyes on this one and only hood girl as well. Let's grow together, y'all. And before the year is over, I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to speak this in, 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 into the universe. Well, that boo-boo didn't want to come out of there. What the hell? I'm going to speak this into the universe before I leave. Coco, tell them. Not your way. Food for the soul. M&J's uh, family move bonds. Um, oh, my God. I have them all on my... Y'all know who y'all are that we, we was in uh, Coco's chat room last night. Everybody in Coco's chat room last night. Let's put this in the universe. Before the end of the year, we're going to come together in the middle. Wherever we, we're going to find a middle part that we all will come together and meet each other. For a meet and greet, even if we still small. And then let's get around a table and just eat and laugh and talk and be joyful. I put that in that universe. So come on, y'all. Agree with me. Comment down below if y'all agree. Yes. I love y'all. Can't do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Bye, y'all.